everyone. We're going to be doing a tea leaf card reading today. Um, we'll see how it goes. I just got these cards and I wanted to do a um, seven card reading, which is for this upcoming week. Um, it is going to be for um, the, the next three days, three weeks, up to three months. So the way that the tea leaf card works is that um, the reading tea leaf card reading works is um, you lay the you know the seven days out on the table, but it could take um, up to three days, three weeks, and three months for you to um, see your fortune. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you here that I have six cards on the table. First one is marriage. Second one is love, then health, success, happiness, and career. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I want to explain to you that the whatever card comes out, I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, just shuffle them and whatever card comes out um, will definitely be a card that Spirit has uh, picked on your behalf. And uh, we will look at what energies will be playing out for um, for that particular area in your life. Okay, just keep in mind that the area that is chosen can be on both spectrums. So, for example, if love comes out, it could be on the spectrum of um, you know deep love uh, in regards to. Uh, a relationship or it could be familial love um, within the family or amongst friends so it doesn't have to be with a spouse or anything like that um, if the marriage card comes out for example it could be marriage or divorce so just keep that in mind it, it can go um, many ways okay so I'm gonna go ahead and um, just put these out Like, just like that okay and I'm going to go ahead and pick a card on your behalf spirit is here um, to assist me my spirit guides are here to assist me Aries this is going to be for Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus sign um, Venus signs excuse me and uh, once we pick the card we're gonna go ahead and do the reading okay all right so Card is success okay so we're going to be looking at the success or failures of uh, what is coming for you this um, upcoming week up to three days three weeks and three months okay I'm gonna go ahead and put the tea leaf cards in this bag and uh, mix them around and then we'll go ahead and begin the reading Spirit, this reading is for Aries. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please give us the messages that pertain to Aries. Um, as I said, um, within the next several days, weeks, and months. All right, we have a few cards here. I'm going to put them down to start and then we will turn them over, okay? Oh, I just lost some cards, sorry. They just fell out of the bag. I'm gonna put them back. I'm gonna close the bag actually and then we'll kind of mix them around here. going to be one row of two, another row of three, 
And the last row will be a row of four cards. Okay, so um, hopefully you can see that there on the screen. Okay, so we have all the cards out on the table. This row is going to be within two days, two weeks, or two months, these two cards here. This row is going to be within three days, three weeks, or three months. And the last row of the four cards will be within four days, four weeks, and four months. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn these cards over here. And this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Okay, Aries, we have all your cards out on the table. I'm going to move them over so you can see them on camera. Okay. So we are talking about success, okay? We're talking about success, but this can also be um, failure, and this, this can be in any area of your life in work, in relationships, um, in projects, whatever success means to you, okay? So the first card out is a new job or career, the pin card. Hopefully you can see that. So that's beautiful. First card out is a, a, good, um, a good card, new job, and career and we also have reconciliation with the pineapple card okay so within the next two days two weeks or two months you could definitely be seeing a new job coming through for you um, you could be changing careers if, if you know this is a possibility that you've been in school for a while um, and you may be coming into your um, certificate or your degree um, I'm not sure when graduation happens, um, but it's going to be different for everybody in every country. So, um, you know, put that how it resonates for you. But if you're getting your degree and you are um, seeking to move into that field, um, it looks like this is definitely going to happen for you within the next couple months. So that's beautiful. Um, so, yeah, be looking forward to that. Um, and then there could be a reconciliation, possibly with um, a lover. Um, possibly with a friend, uh, maybe even family. So uh, if there has been um, an area of your life where you've wanted to um, get back in contact with somebody um, or someone, maybe you've lost contact with them um, through you know, possible uh, disagreements or uh, maybe you have had uh, some issues you know, within your relationships um, with someone who you are coming back to uh, reconcile with. So that's beautiful. Reconcil reconciliation will be happening for you within the next couple of months. Beautiful. So we have um, in the first three days, three weeks, or three up to three days, three weeks, or three months, which extends you know a little bit further out. We have protected from negative forces beyond your control with cobweb. So that's beautiful. You are definitely protected. Um, you definitely have your spirit guides um, with you. Um, you have your angels and your ancestors who are protecting you um, and watching over you. So that's beautiful. That's what I get from that card. We have the wall. There's a misunderstanding. Um, and I also have here, I want to just go to the next card, which is boat. Money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. So there, these possibly could go together. They don't have to be, but um, there is a possibility that there was a misunderstanding regarding an inheritance um, that may come to fruition or may have to be dealt with um, within the next three months. Okay, so money or property um, could be coming into your possession 
um, and there might be an, a misunderstanding regarding the situation, okay, regarding this inheritance. But you are definitely protected. Um, so, you know, you definitely will come out um, the victor in this case, um, since you are being protected from negative forces. If there are people who are um, trying to um, do something to, you know, possibly gain that inheritance out of, you know, something that is not right or um, that goes against what um, the person who left the inheritance um, against their will, um, that's it's not going to happen. Okay, so take that how you will and put it how it resonates for you. Um, and then within the next four days, four weeks, and four months, we have boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. So um, this really is you know, just saying what it, what it is. Um, make sure that you are putting the effort into whatever you are um, you know, looking to gain or attain. If this is um, regarding money, the next card is money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. So um, if there, you know, this could possibly go along with this new career, um, put your best foot forward, okay? Make sure that you're putting the effort in to achieve the goals that you want so that you can get this, um, this money that is waiting for you to find, which is beautiful. That's a great message to get. We also have Cain. Pay attention to your health. So make sure you are taking care of yourself um, this upcoming week and into the next four months. Okay. If you are um, not eating right, try to get your veggies in, drink a lot of water, um, and you know just take care of yourself as much as you can. Okay. Um, get some exercise in now that the world is opening up. Get yourself outside, um, even if it's just to take a walk. A brief walk if you have animals take your your animals out for a walk um, and you know just get some fresh air and make sure that you are taking care of yourself and the last card here is vacation with a kite so you might be um, wanting to take some time off or you are being um, asked to take a vacation so that you can refresh um, regain a new perspective regain some uh, insight um, as to how you're going to move forward with these uh, wonderful cards here. So I do see that uh, money is a big thing for you this um, next um, a few weeks, um, next actually up to four months, okay? Um, success is definitely in your path, Aries. Uh, money, reconciliation, um, definitely money here um, and possible inheritance, okay? So um, that was your tea leaf reading. Please take those messages as they resonate with you. Um, let's go ahead and get into your tarot reading. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the new deck that I just purchased. This is the, um, the Muse Tarot. It's a beautiful deck. So I'm excited to use it. Um, in your reading today, Aries. I hope you all are doing good, staying safe, staying healthy as always. Um, we're going to go ahead with the tarot reading today. Um, this is going to be a reading for the upcoming week, okay? So um, any messages that come through, if they do not resonate with you, please make sure you're checking your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? Also, I uh, have a playlist um, on my channel. Please go check out those, video, those videos that pertain to you. Um, hopefully, you'll find um, something that resonates with you if this one does not resonate with you today, okay? So, let's see what the tarot has to say regarding this upcoming week. We're going to go ahead and look at the challenges we're going to get advice from spirit and we're going to get an outcome. Okay. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for this upcoming week? Lots of fire, Aries. Lots of fire. Thank you, spirit. All right, so we have, um, to begin the reading, 
we have the Ace of Inspiration. So this is the Ace of Wands. You are definitely um, beginning something um, that you're passionate about. This could be the career that the tea leaf cards talked about. Um, a new job, a new career, something that you're passionate about. Um, this can also be an idea that you may have um, that you have been possibly working on, maybe a project or something that um, definitely brings in some uh, really powerful inspiration for you. Um, if you are an artist or you're a writer or a teacher, um, this can definitely be something that um, is going to be um, really coming out um, into and, and really bringing in some, some new energy for you, um, possibly new ideas. Um, if you, you know, paint or you have a, an, a, your entrepreneur, you have your own business, new ideas are going to be popping up for you. Um, I really do highly um, feel here that this has to do with um, a project. Okay, but we'll we'll clarify and see. Um, advice from spirit. Now, keep in mind this is your challenge. So, okay, advice from spirit is the page of wands, page of inspiration. So I do feel here that um, this new beginning um, is going to be something that is fresh and new, something maybe you've never done before. Um, as I said in the tarot, uh, I'm sorry, in the tea leaf reading, I felt that there was possibly someone here who has received their degree or is about to receive their degree in a new field of work. So this could be um, with the page of wands here, something that you love to do that you have spent your time in school really um, working on to gain the skills that you need to get into the field. That's why this page of wands is he here and um, spirit is really saying that it's going to be something that you um, that you're very passionate about and you're going to be, um, you know, able to get into that field after graduation. Now, if this doesn't have to do with anybody graduating from college or getting a degree, this is just something new that's going to be coming into your path that you will be, um, you'll be working on. Um, and it could be, you know, anything we'll, we'll check, we'll get, um, clarification, but that's a beautiful message. And then we have the eight of cups. In your outcome so you're walking away from something here Aries this could be a relationship it could be another job maybe you're leaving one job to enter into a new job uh, whatever this is you're walking away okay so let's go ahead and clarify okay spirit what is this ace of inspiration for Aries please clarify We've got the Ten of Voices, which is the Ten of Swords and the Rider Waite. Temperance. Aries, I feel, I really highly feel that you're leaving one job to go into another job. Um, or leaving one project to go into another project here. And it's going to take a little bit of patience, but it's going to bring you into balance, okay? Um, you do have a choice to make here with the two of voices. Um, you will be um, maybe feeling a little bit blocked um, at, to start to get, you know, going into this new beginning. Um, but I do feel that you are with the ten of... Um, the wheel of fortune here the 10 10 the wheel sorry this is a new deck the wheel here with this is the wheel of fortune um you will be uh definitely going into some positive changes um in your monetary pursuits here we talked that about money here in the tea leaf reading so there is um, a potential for you to come into a lot of money um this upcoming week and into the next several months okay um, but there is a little bit of a blockage here um, because sometimes, you know, endings are not easy, right? Um, this is the Ten of Voices. Um, this is an ending, a, a painful ending, actually. And it could be that maybe uh, you've been, you know, at a job for quite a while um, and ha leaving this job is probably scary. Uh, probably, you know, uns you're unsure how to uh, move into this new job or new career. Um, but it definitely is here um, a saying that you are moving towards something that you are 
more passionate about, um, more receptive to, um, and something is ending for the new beginning to occur, okay? With the Temperance card, this is adjust adjusting to our circumstances and, and bringing in balance. Um, this this is going to balance you, and this, this um, endeavor that you are embarking on is going to be a very, very... Um, worthy quest, something that is your higher purpose and something that is meant for you. Okay. So um, although the, the pain of, of ending something or the uh, fear of ending something um, may be a little intense, um, you're feeling, you know, a little bit blocked here. Your heart, you know, is a little uh, ached or aching um, and you're you, you know, you might be thinking about, is this, you know, is this the right thing for me? Should I be doing this? Is this the right move? Um, so, you know, feeling a little bit blocked is going to be um, something that ails you a little bit moving into this new career. But uh, the Wheel of Fortune here is really saying that um, it's going to be an improvement and an opportunity. Um, this card really talks about um, your calling, okay, and moving into something that is going to bring you um, the abundance that you're looking for. So um, the challenge is just going to be, you know, getting past the indecision, uh, getting past the blockage of, of you feeling a little unsure and uneasy. But um, please be assured that this is going to bring you the abundance you're looking for. Okay. So let's see what advice from spirit is. The page of wands, page of inspiration here as I said, is talking about this new, fresh beginning. We have the Seven of Cups, Seven of Emotions in this deck. It's a beautiful deck. I'm really loving this deck. I'm very happy with it. Okay, we have the Muse of Emotions. So, although you may be a little emotional moving into... Um, into this new beginning, um, spirit is really saying that um, you're going to have a lot more options because you're going to have you know that degree under your belt. Um, you're going to be working with lots of different types of people, um, and you are um, definitely going to be um, experiencing uh, some different. very heavy, very heavy emotion about transitioning. Okay. Um, the seven emotion, the seven of emotions or seven of cups talks about having options, as I said. So, you know, having all of these, um, opportunities and, and as I said, there is opportunity here with, um, something that you're passionate about, but you have a lot of options. There are a lot of opportunities for you that can bring in your abundance. Okay. So um, with the King of Cups here, this is the Muse of Emotions, is really telling me that you um, have, you know, you you're, you have the emotion, the emotional stability that you you're able to move forward emotionally um, with these options. Okay, now with the Three of Emotions here as well, this is really telling me that you are going to be working with a group of people that um, will be in line with you, with the same ideas, with the same passionate um, pursuits, with the same um, ideas that you have, okay? So the only thing that is sticking out here to me is the devil, okay? Now this energy can be about procrastination or false truths. It can also be fear of failure or lack of confidence. So. Um, spirit is really just saying that um, make sure that you are moving into this um, transition in a way that um, is you're not letting your emotions overrun your decisions or overplay your decision to you know to make the moves that you need to make okay um, sometimes our emotions can speak for us um, and we give too much power to our emotions. So just be sure that um, you are not letting your emotions take over you and um, bring in logic and um, that way it balances out your um, decision making, okay? So that's the advice from Spirit. Just make sure that you're balancing your emotions. 
um, but it looks like you will be working with a group of people that are on the same page as you. So that's beautiful. And you will have a lot of options, um, a lot of different, different opportunities coming your way and career. Okay. So let's look at this eight of emotions here. This is the eight of cups. You're walking away from something. The six of inspiration, the knight of voices. You will be victorious in this. Okay. Um, although, it, it, like I said, it's going to be a little, a little difficult for you to transition because it's not an easy transition. And this could be for many reasons. It could be, you know, that maybe you've been with your current employer for a very long time. Um, and you know, it's something new. Sometimes new things can really, um, be scary, right? To move from one thing to another. So you're moving away, you're walking away from something and you're going to be victorious with the six of wands. Okay. You're going to be victorious in whatever this pursuit is for you. Um, I, I do highly feel it is in career, but this could be, it could be a project that this, that, you know, this reading is about, but it does have to do with money. Okay. This has to do with your, um, your stability in, um, something that is going to bring you in, uh, the money that you're looking for. Okay. We have the Knight of uh, Voices here. This is the Knight of Swords. So there will be some communication that takes place regarding this opportunity that is coming your way um and then with the two of wands here this is the three of wands and the two of wands so i feel like this should go like this because what is happening is you are communicating about two um paths um possibly um two jobs okay two options and you are choosing one option with the three of inspiration here you are definitely choosing the path that you are going to move into and you're going to be walking away from um something that um just is no longer uh, meant for you you're moving forward you are moving into a new direction um and you are going to be victorious in whatever this is um, so as your tea leaf reading says, there is money coming your way, whether this is an, um, the, the new career that you are embarking on or, um, money in some way is coming to you, um, in the next, um, like I said, um, next week or into the next four months. Okay. This is, um, a weekly reading, um, tarot reading, but with the tea leaf, the tea leaf works different. So you know, as I said in the beginning of the reading, just take those instructions and just know that um, this is a timeless reading anyhow. So um, whatever, you know, you are experiencing, um, just keep the general message in mind, okay? Um, so this was your reading. I hope that you enjoyed it, Aries. Um, if you did, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, okay? Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. And I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Um, and until next time, Aries, I love you guys. Namaste.